Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about when people want to go to the gym and they want to train, they want to lift more than four times a week. This is kind of a point where they just need to be doing more conditioning work, doing more cardio. They just need to be working on getting into shape at that point. Uh, because, you know, people have this idea always that more equals better. And, you know, you see a lot of popular influencers having kids in the gym five or six days a week, doing a push-pull legs, uh, rotation six days a week, all this nonsense. And, and the reality is none of this is necessary. And I think we could make the argument that it, it's actually conflicting with your goals, meaning it's counterproductive. You know, because all these people think that, look, if I just come in and do more sets and then they're not taking days off from actual training, what ends up happening? Right? They, they gain slower. They gain slower. And I, I've experimented with, with five, six, and seven day a week programming. Um, you guys have seen me use it on camera in the past and give my assessments to these different things. And ultimately what always happens is you burn out faster. You require deloads all the time. Uh, you hurt, you're tired, even though you get bigger and stronger, okay? And uh, the, the reality is it just doesn't give you proper recovery. And what I mean by that, if you look at the way I program most of my people, the majority of my clients, we work with stuff like four-day conjugate or even three-day conjugate, in which we have four different training days with different training modalities as the primary ones and that's so that they don't interfere with each other you know I, i'll get people who say well if the same amount of work is spread out over six days you should be able to recover fine and it's like no you really shouldn't meaning you're not really doing anything uh, particularly intense if that's the case Right, that maybe you would be better served coming in and actually doing correct workouts. Because if your workouts are so easy that you're recovering from doing, and you're not just sleeping all the time, like your whole life doesn't revolve around training. If you're training six days a week and, and you're not sleeping 10, 11 hours a day, uh, you know, again, living a perfect lifestyle, and you don't wake up hurting every day, you're probably training like a pussy. To be honest with you, you probably are training like a pussy. You really are. Because that's not going to happen. And if anything, if you look at what we do with stuff like conjugate method, it's all geared around recovering workout to workout so that we can actually train as hard as we do. It's a reason we do concurrent training inside of each uh, week. And it's so that we can actually even be able to recover by the time our, our next sessions get there. In other words, we run max effort work only twice a week, okay? We run it only twice a week because if we try to run it more, you start seeing performance degrade faster, okay? Because you need to have those different training stimuluses, the actual recovery to their energy systems and everything involved. Uh, and that's why we do dynamic effort days in between so that we have speed work which replicates a lot of the benefits, has other performance elements, has a different recovery curve, so that we don't have to be fully recovered in all of our systems from each of those modalities before we train the next one within the week. And that lets us even get away with four day a week, really hard, legitimately done training. Of course, you'll get people who will say, well, you know, not everyone needs to do heavy singles. Yeah, but let's go look at even the hypertrophy data there. Look at the studies that have come out showing that you get better performance on your 10 rep sets if you do a heavy single first, at least 90%. Well, that's basically what we're doing twice a week. We're coming in hitting a, at least one heavy training max all the way up to a one rep max. And then we're doing all of our volume, our you know, 10s and things like that. But even with systems like this, uh, it, it's actually fairly easy to reach a state to where you're struggling with recovery just all four days. Okay, we, we have to build this around that. We have to count our total sets. We've got to start looking at stimulus to fatigue just to be able to perform and to, to maintain progressive overload on a weekly basis, right? So that we're not seeing performance degrade. And all of this programming is built around doing this to build really serious lifters. And you guys see what some of my lifters lift. I've put up clients squatting and deadlifting over 600. I have some who bench over 400. 
you know, obviously not the majority of my clients, but they're there. I have plenty of guys I've put up squatting in the 500 plus range who are under 200 pounds, benching 315 plus who are in the two, under 200 pound range. You know, in fact, I got a guy coming up for a meet right now who's going to bench double body weight in meat, you know. He's going to bench double body weight. The guy weighs 170 pounds and he can bench at least 340 with a pause. And he's got a decent squat too. You know, deadlifts are a bit of a problem for him, but he squats mid 400s on top of it, right? So not necessarily the, you know, the heaviest guy, but he's also very, very lean. You know, looks how a whole lot of you guys w would want to look. Okay, we do four days a week, you know, and that's how my guys train, my guys and my girls. And here's what we point out. If you want more than that, just go do conditioning work. You know what? You're going to get some hypertrophic response from it. You're going to train different energy systems. It's going to help you have better work capacity in the gym. It's going to get you in better shape, All right? It's going to bring your conditioning up. It can improve body composition, it'll improve health and everything. So I'm going to tell people, do like my client Michelle does, who you guys saw through some of these vlogs. She drags a sled every day, right? She drags a sled almost every day. She takes one day off, right? So we do GPP, we do conditioning. Same thing with Mike, who you guys see in a few of, the, a few of these clips up above. You know, he does a lot of weighted vest walks. He just out walks with a weight vest every day. But he only lifts four days a week. And we do it on a four-day system, okay? And that's that's the point that I'm coming to, is that if you really feel the need to train and exercise more than four times a week, it doesn't need to be with weights. And I'm going to recommend that you not do it with weights. In fact, I personally found uh, major overuse issues when I would do bodyweight exercises every day. Added in my normal training, before long, you start having overuse problems. Okay, because you're still strength training, you're still doing serious resistance training. And at a certain point, the body just can't handle it. And if it can, then you're really weak. You're probably really weak and really small, if it can. In which case, you need to be training more efficiently anyways. There's clearly something wrong with your training. You know, and it's like, it's like many coaches have pointed out, those novice lifters, the reason they're perpetual novices is, they actually train too much meaning they're just coming in and doing endless junk volume and they don't eat enough and then they wonder why they never gain muscle and strength. Right? They're not focused on recovery, of stimulating then recovering from it and then giving yourselves the food to recover and to grow from the training. All right? So too many people want to train too much and not eat enough and that's half the problem that they have. All right, guys, but well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.